welcome to the abhijit sarkar gis channel we are here to provide you with tutorials tips and insights on all things geospatial from remote sensing and gis to spatial data analysis and visualization whether you are a seasoned gis professional or just getting started in the field we have something for everyone Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to download USGS EO-1 Hyperion data from the Earth Explorer website and process it using ENVI. In this video, we will cover the steps needed to download the data, resize it, perform atmospheric correction using Quack, and remove bad bands using ENVI. First, Let's navigate to the Earth Explorer website and find the data we need. Once we have logged in, we can search for EO-1 Hyperion data by selecting the correct dataset and entering the relevant parameters such as location, date, and spectral range. Once we have found the data we need, we can download it by selecting the download option and choosing the format in which we want to save it. It's important to note that Hyperion data can be very large, so it's a good idea to check the file size before downloading and ensure that you have enough storage space on your computer. Next, we need to resize the data to a manageable size using ENVI. This can be done by opening the data in ENVI and selecting the Resize option. It's important to choose the correct parameters for resizing, such as the output size, interpolation method, and pixel size. Now, we need to perform atmospheric correction on the resized data using the Quack algorithm in ENVI. This will correct for atmospheric effects such as scattering and absorption, which can affect the accuracy of the data. Finally, we need to remove any bad bands from the data using ENVI. Bad bands are those that contain missing or unreliable data, and they can affect the accuracy of the analysis. And there you have it. You have successfully downloaded USGS EO, one Hyperion data from Earth Explorer and processed it using ENVI. This data can be used for a variety of applications such as land cover mapping, mineral exploration, and agriculture monitoring. It's also important to note that there are many other algorithms and techniques available in ENVI for processing hyperspectral data depending on the specific application and research question. You can explore these options and experiment with different settings to achieve the best results for your project. Downloading and processing USGS EO, one Hyperion data using ENVI can be a powerful tool for remote sensing and geospatial analysis. With the correct techniques and methods, you can extract valuable information from hyperspectral data and gain insights into various environmental and geological phenomena. Before we...
speed app up, let's take a closer look at spectral profile bad bands removal in ENVI. This method is useful when the bad bands have a distinctive spectral signature that differs from the surrounding bands. Spectral profile bad bands removal allows you to replace the bad bands with new values that are interpolated from the neighboring bands. To use this method, you need to first identify the spectral profile of the bad band by selecting a region of interest that contains both the bad band and the surrounding bands. ENVI will then calculate the spectral profile of that region and use it to interpolate new values for the bad band. It's important to note that this method works best when the bad bands are relatively narrow and do not cover a large portion of the spectrum. If the bad bands are too wide, it may be difficult to accurately interpolate new values and other methods such as gap filling or data fusion may be more appropriate. Bands removal is a useful method for correcting bad bands in hyperspectral data that have a distinctive spectral signature. However, it's important to carefully evaluate the data and select the appropriate method for each case to ensure accurate and reliable results. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to download USGS EO. One Hyperion data from Earth Explorer and process it using ENVI, including atmospheric correction and bad bands removal. We hope you found it informative and helpful. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial on how to download and process USGS EO One Hyperion data using ENVI. We covered a lot of ground from finding the right data on Earth Explorer to performing atmospheric correction and removing bad bands in ENVI. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in your remote sensing and geospatial analysis work. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comments below. We are always looking for new ideas and feedback from our viewers. If you want to stay up to date with the latest tutorials, tips and insights on GIS and remote sensing, make sure to subscribe to the Abhijit Sarkar GIS channel. By subscribing, you'll get access to exclusive content that you won't find anywhere else, including in-depth tutorials on popular software such as ArcGIS, QGIS, and ENVI. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video.